dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The reflection based on the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesian, chapter 2, verse 14. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh. First of all, St. Paul wanted to remind us that the Gentiles lack Israel's messianic expectation, lack the covenants God made with Israel, lack hope of salvation and knowledge of the true God. But through Christ, all these religious barriers between Jew and Gentiles have been transcended by the abolition of the Messiah covenant law for the sake of uniting Jew and Gentiles into a single religious community, imbued with the same Holy Spirit and worshiping the same Father. The Gentiles are now included in God's household as it rises upon the foundation of the Apostles, assisted by those endowed with the prophetic gift, the preacher of Christ, and with Christ as the capstan. It is proof that God united all mankind through His Son, who came into the world to bear witness that only in Him we found peace and joy. It is a peace that the world cannot offer. Being a flower of Christ it is not easy. Being a flower of Christ means that we must be bold to testify to spread peace. We must be able to bring peace instead of division. Sometimes we are often insulted ridiculed, ostracized, but we must never retaliate it, not because we are scared, but all we want is tolerance and peace with one another. Let us be witness of peace by praying for one another, strengthening and sustaining one another. The sign that the people can bring peace is that those who are able to make peace with themselves and with their past. A person who is always at peace with will always rejoice, be generous, be patient, forgiving, accept others for who they are, and even give his life for others. May God bless us.